I was a guy in a gang, I'd be the guy at the back clicking their fingers. <laughs> you right? It's good to be here, it's good to be here. I'm from a little place in South East London called Lewisham. <laughs> it's about the response it deserves. <laughs> The news once called it the least peaceful place in England, uh, based on its murder rate, violent crimes rate, weapons crimes rate, public disorder offences rate, <laughs> and the number of police officers per 100,000 people. Uh, so according to those statistics, if you don't laugh in the next five minutes, I will stab you. <laughs> no, look, front row, you can relax, all right, okay, all right. You're not gonna get picked on by me, all right? No one's ever been picked on by a guy wearing knitwear. <laughs> the only fights we get into are the ones on Reddit. <laughs> I'm not a very physically impressive male specimen. Uh, I'm about as strong as a shower after someone's turned on the downstairs tap. <laughs> That's what I'm working with here, okay? <laughs> I'm not a very intimidating guy. Uh, as guys go about as intimidating as Michael Jackson in the music video he did for that song, Bad. <laughs> Remember that one? Remember that one in the subway? Yeah. If I was a guy in a gang, I'd just be the guy at the back clicking their fingers. <laughs> the other guys in the gang would be like, bruv, what are you doing? I'm intimidating them, all right, okay? Stand back, boys, I've got this. And then I just boom, walk away. <laughs> what else can I tell you about me? Uh, I'm a straight guy. I know I'm as surprised as you are. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know I'm a straight guy, because I'm so emotionally repressed, I feel the need to apply lip balm with a finger. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Only us straight guys do that. It's called chapstick. It's got the word chap in it, and we still feel uncomfortable about using it. <laughs> a little voice just pops into our heads that sounds like Danny Dyer. Oh, you know, one minute you're putting lip balm on your lips, the next minute you've got your mate's cock in your mouth. <laughs> Fellas, that's not how sexuality works, all right? And if it was, the one thing you're gonna want are soft lips. <laughs> uh, I've been told I need to talk more. I've been told I need to talk more, and um, we get that, don't we, as straight guys? We're told we need to talk more about our feelings and about our mental health, and uh, I didn't think that was the case uh, until I watched this documentary on Netflix called My Octopus Teacher. Has anyone seen this? Yeah, it's a really good documentary. I recommend it if you haven't watched it. It's about this guy. He's going through a midlife crisis. He's got a wife and a son. He doesn't really know what he's doing with his life. He's going through a sticky patch. And he lives by the coast. So what he decides to do one day is dive into the sea. And he meets this octopus. And it changes his life, right? He talks about in the documentary how the octopus teaches him about love and compassion. And then what he decides to do is every day for a year, he dives into the sea to hang out with the octopus. And it was at that point, in the documentary that I thought, men need to talk. <laughs> You're spending every day in the sea with an octopus, talk to someone. <laughs> That's a massive red flag, actually. What is that octopus teaching you? <laughs> it's got eight limbs, right? When one of its limbs cuts off, it regrows another one. Like, that's hardly an alternative to therapy, is it? <laughs> just a bunch of blokes going to SeaWorld, just faces pressed against the tank like, I think it started when my dad left. <laughs> <laughs> every day, every single day for a year. He went to see the octopus every day for a year. The octopus must have been like, <laughs> me. <laughs> Not again. Not the four-limb twat again. I can't teach you anything. You've only got four limbs. The octopus just turns into an old-school kind of Hollywood director. You'll never be a star, kid, all right? Not in the sea. <laughs> uh, he was a white guy. Uh, don't think I even need to say that, do I? He was obviously a white guy. <laughs> If he was any other race or this, it'd be a much shorter documentary. We're talking grilled octopus. <laughs> We're talking fried octopus. We're talking jerk octopus. Right? If he was a Spanish guy, it'd be a two minute documentary called My Octopus Tapas. <laughs> Guys, I've been Tucson Douglas. You've been absolutely lovely. Thanks so much for having me. Cheers, thank you.